Here we have a single channel LSEMA GigaLink transmitter and receiver. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the various modes in the receiver. The three modes that I will demonstrate is called momentary mode, flip-flop mode, and delayed off mode. There are many other modes, so refer to the user manual. Momentary mode is when the dip switch number one here is in an off position. This enables the momentary mode. When I press the remote control button, the relay will be activated, which is indicated by this red LED coming on, and you could hear the relay. When I release the button, the relay goes off. So it really only stays on for a moment that the button is pressed. Press it, it comes on. Release it, it goes off. That's a momentary mode. The next mode is flip-flop. You enable that by flicking dip switch number one on. When I press the button, the relay will come on. When I release the button on the remote, the relay still is on. You need to press it a second time to turn the relay off. This is useful for simple on-off functions like a light switch. You press it, it comes on, press it a second time, it goes off. Delayed off mode is a timing mode. The timing mode is adjustable from 1 to 300 seconds. Mm. To enable delayed off mode, you flick dip switch number 2 on. The timing is adjustable by this trim pot. All the way anti-clockwise is minimum timing and all the way clockwise is the maximum timing. I will put it in the middle, which on the top scale from 1 to 10 seconds, is a, the middle is around about 5 seconds. When I press the remote button, the relay will come on and will stay on for about 5 seconds. Now it's important that the timing does start after the button is released. So the 5 seconds starts after the button is released from the remote. There's also a test mode. Flick dip switch number 4 on will activate the relay. Flick it off, switch it off. So you can test your relay and whatever device you are switching. Custom modes can be programmed into the receiver. Contact LSEMA for a custom mode.